Hi guys and welcome to this mini episode of Flea Market Bandidos. My name is Steve out from Crime Man Studios and I'll be your host for this episode. <laughs> So a couple of days ago I visited someone that I met through um, the Facebook group, the Retro Gamer Facebook group, Gamers Hive. Uh, it's for Belgian gamers by the way. He said he had a bunch of doubles lying around and I should come over and I could look through them and decide if I wanted to buy some of them. Um, so I asked him naturally if it was okay if I filmed there, maybe uh, film a bit of his collection and stuff. And he said sure, come on over. Now walking into his living room he had um, two big arcades, arcade cabinets um, there which were both in working order um, which is awesome to see. He said he picked them up for some ridiculous price like 50 euros for one and 100 euros or a little more for the other. I, I can't remember but they were insanely cheap, at least to me they were. He showed me his um, gaming room itself, which wasn't a very big space, but um, the moment you stepped in you could just see that games were crammed all over the place. Um, shelves were double stacked with games, there, there were all kinds of different systems um, in front of his TV, which, which you could see was, was played pretty frequently. That's wow. nice. And that cast is a Nintendo, Nintendo cast. Uh. This on a good thing at the end of the instant. Oh, that's all it's going to turbo do all of them. In this. Oh. But in his spite, you know, we need to do some capacitors for the thing. But that will be well, but he'll let his... And you know this guy, uh, Thomas, by the way, if I haven't mentioned his name. He goes for more, more of a quality collection instead of uh, quantity. So yeah, that, that's really the kind of collection that I want to go for myself, so um, I really enjoyed looking around there. He had a few really rare games and a couple of rare systems. Uh, one of the rare games, actually the game that stuck um, with me most from his collection, was a um, Star Fox tournament cartridge, which I've heard of before, I've seen it on a couple of reviews and, and other YouTube videos, and it really impressed me that he had one. Ja, wel 15 betaald, maar als ik dan daarna de prijs zag. <laughs> ik wist echt niet dat dat zo duur was. Nee, dat is geen slechte koop ook nu voor nee. 15. Maar ja, uiteindelijk, wat doet hij ermee? Ja, hij had een andere area met all kinds of um, assorted electronics in there, also consoles and, and games and stuff. Um, and his doubles were also there, so we unloaded them and took a look at them. No, I wasn't going in expecting too much, um, and he told me before that he was holding a copy of Sonic 2 that he picked up for a couple of euros at a thrift store, and that's one of the things that was in um, his box of doubles, was a completing box copy of Sonic 2. Well, not completing box, booklet's missing, but it is in box. And it is Sonic 2, a game I've been um, looking to pick up on uh, the Sega Mega Drive. So awesome. Another one was um, a Sega Master System game that I've been interested in for quite some time. Would have loved to have picked up the Mega Drive version, but um, the Master System version is pretty cool too. I, I've played it and <laughs> it looks pretty cool. Only for the music and the fact that you're playing with Michael Jackson and one of his special beat all moves is um, to make everyone dance on screen <laughs> to destroy them, so yeah. Pretty awesome game, uh, I think I bought this for uh, 4 euros or something. As I mentioned before, he was um, he was looking to sell these games to me at about the price he bought them. So yeah, pretty awesome deals. Um, yeah, I also found um, Bubsy, the original Bubsy on uh, SNES, which I've heard is a pretty terrible game. That's one of the reasons I want to try it, so uh, yeah, there you go, Bubsy. Um, Terminator 2 for the Sega Mega Drive is another awesome pickup in my opinion. Um, it does need the Sega gun, uh, I forgot the name, the blast or something, I, I can't remember. So I'll have to pick that up for cheap somewhere too if I ever come across one, but uh, 
If I do, I'll have this game. Um, another awesome game. He sold this to me for a really low price. To uh, I'm not gonna mention the price, but um, it's Sonic 3 loose card, but still uh, awesome. I now have one, two, and three on Mega Drive, which is spectacular. Um, another uh, loose cartridge uh, Master System game this time, uh, Rescue Mission, which looked pretty cool and, and he was asking um, one or two euros for it, I think, or three, but I think one or two, I can't remember. Not a lot. Um, I think all these games, um, these six games, I bought for like 15 euros, so really awesome deal, awesome guy. He had a um, pretty cool collection. A lot of quality games in there, a lot of games I would enjoy too. He was big on the shooters by the way, uh, the shmups and stuff. Um, I'm not really that big on it, but that's maybe because I haven't played a lot of them, or not a lot of good ones anyways. So uh, yeah, once again, thanks to uh, Thomas for hooking me up with all this great stuff. Uh, and also thanks to you guys for watching a mini episode of Flea Market Bandidos. You'll be seeing another big episode in... Um, Hopefully under a month, um, probably under a month. And um, also a big um, kind of game room tour. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with the footage, but we mentioned it in a previous Flea Market Bandidos episode that we went to visit um, this guy's collection. And it was just a very big collection, a very awesome collection. Um, so yeah, there's something to look forward to. He had over 4,000 games or something. I can't remember, but it was a lot. So yeah, something to look forward to for you guys. Um, in the meanwhile, like this video, subscribe, share it, and leave a comment. Uh, I'd love to, to see some comments of you guys. So we can chat it up in the comment section. Until next time, bye bye. Hi, welcome to CMS Gaming. I'm Obvious. And my name is Steve Ed. We thought it was time to do a new Let's Play, and since we both like uh, Pokemon, and we both like getting loaded, we decided to combine the two. So, let's see. This is Pokemon Drug Clock. While well, uh, Obvious is going through the rules with you guys, I'll be making our drink for today. Yeah. So, standard Nuzlocke.